Hello everybody, welcome back to That Guy Nick. Today, I am doing a spoiler review, review for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which I just got back from seeing. Sorry for that cut there, I had to cut out a little, because the lighting was off. Anyways, so I just got back from seeing Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, directed by the one and only Sam Raimi himself. And, um, yeah, um, I don't, to be honest, it, this movie, to me, it, I don't, I don't know what to say. Uh, kind of a, lot, a loss for words. I've been chatting with a buddy of mine who just saw the movie today as well uh, on Instagram. And just, uh, we're just talking about how much the movie is like just straight up emotional damage, dude. So much emotional damage. Um, I don't know how to really go into this review exactly. So, this movie's, I, I, can't, I can't say much because it's a spoiler review of you and I don't want to say much. Um, here's what I'll say though. The story is fantastic. Um, it, it, it really hits the emotions real hard, uh, which I absolutely loved. And the, and especially with the third act of the movie, I won't say anything, but the third act of the movie was one of my favorite third acts in any, in any MCU movie, any comic book, well, any comic book movie really, because it just, the, raw and the emotion and the writing oh god I, I absolutely loved it and it struck a chord like you know like I didn't that I didn't expect it to and I absolutely loved it so the story itself is just is fantastic and I do think at t I do think at times it does and I think it's the pacing the pacing does drag so the story drags a little bit too and that's my only real issue with the movie is that the pacing kind of drags and that's, that was pretty much it, the pacing, the, it just, some, like, there was, uh, one particular scene, and it's definitely during the second act, where, um, there was talking, the talk, the conversation was interesting, but it felt, it felt too slow to me, and I, I didn't know what it was, it just felt a little bit too slow, and then they just picked up the pace right after, um, yeah, this movie's not gonna be for everybody, 100% guaranteed, uh, first thing I'm gonna say, so, not the first thing I'm going to say, continuing on, uh, the cast, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, com returning as Doctor Strange, Stephen Strange. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful. I, I've always loved Doctor Strange in these movies, so, ben Benedict Cumberbatch just does an outstanding job as the character again, and, oh, dude, you were so good in this movie. And, of course, the great Elizabeth Olsen returns as Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch, and, oh, boy, um... She is 100% the villain in this movie. She is the main villain. Um, and she was one of the best villains so far in the in, uh, Phase 4. One of the best, easily. Because it's, it's just... Wow. The, 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 the brutality in this movie. The... Just... Oh, wow. The, the, the way shit went down. Like, I was so surprised how... How brutal this movie was. Uh, there was one scene in particular that I went, holy, I went, alright, okay, I, I, I literally went, holy shit, okay, uh, I was shocked, and, cause I was like, MCU pulling out this, alright, go right ahead, do it, uh, and that also contributes to the fact that there was a lot of horror aspects, you know, Sam Raimi's a horror director as well, and the horror was really good, I mean, nothing really scared me, it was more just like, Jesus Christ, that's kinda creepy. Or just like super like uh what, which I really loved and and I and I think the there was also some weird body horror, which I which which was I thought was really cool, and uh, it just added to like the effect of the movie and I went um creepy, but badass, and I I, I literally I'm sorry if I feel like I lost for words because I really tr truly feel like a lost for words this movie isn't any other MCU movie. This is totally different, and I think uh, you can definitely see Sam Raimi's directing style throughout the entire movie, and it's outstanding. I always loved Sam Raimi as a director, and uh, he just the way he directs his movie is really great, and uh, I loved it, and uh, I'm gonna absolutely butcher the name, and I do apologize for that, but uh, America, uh, America Chavez, played by... Um, Kind of butcher the name again. I apologize. Uh, Z uh, Zachi <sighs> Gomez. I again apologize for mispronouncing the name. 
But um, it, but America Chavez was absolutely fantastic. I've seen a lot of people say that she's just a plot device, and I kind of agree, and I kind of don't. I think she's, especially in the third act, she really becomes her own character, and I and during the entire movie, I was just enjoying the relationship between her and um, Stephen throughout the, throughout the entire thing. I, I just loved the kind of dynamic they had, and I, and I wish, I wish it was kind of built upon a little bit more writing uh, writing wise. But oh, I, I I loved it especially at the end. But oh, it was it was just really good, and she does such a fantastic job, and I really loved her character. And this, that brings me to the emotional beats of the movie. Like you said, with the story, this this whole entire movie is just emotional. Just an emotional ride because Scarlet Witch is... She's trying to... I don't think I can say exactly what the plot is. Because, um... Yeah, I can't really say what the plot is exactly. Because it kind of give, gives it away. But I think if you know, you know the plot. Because the actual synopsis doesn't really get, doesn't give anything away, really. Honestly, it doesn't give anything away. So I, so I think that's really good because the movie has so many big surprises and so much cool shit and so many unique action scenes. The action in this movie was amazing. There was one action scene in particular that I absolutely loved, and it involved some music, and I'm like, what? <laughs> it was like that's weird as shit, but also just cool as hell. Uh, and I'm like, I'm watching it, and I'm like, this the way it was handled, and oh my god, the music, Danny Elfman, oh oh god, <laughs> just just uh, just amazing. The main theme itself is beautiful, and there was also a bunch of other themes in the movie that were very haunting and very um, mysterious, and there was a lot of action-heavy ones that were fast and very melodic and all this other shit and I'm like ooh fancy oh, I'm just the entire movie I'm just glued to the screen and, and the, I'm just I, I, I'm, abs I'm just absolutely enjoying the ride and uh, the cheesy comedy is pretty funny not gonna lie um I think the comedy the comedy was funny because I mean at times in the original Spider-Man trilogy really, Sam Raimi uh, Sam Raimi and his comedy what not great I mean, I think a lot of times it did work, and a lot of times it didn't. So, I was definitely right. I was definitely kind of like, eh, with those movies. But in this one, I feel like, it was like, okay, that's pretty funny. That's good. And I, I got, I, this movie definitely got a few good chuckles out of me. And one really good laugh, specifically with one uh, cameo appearance. So I'm not going to say who it is. Uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm also going to say this too. Um, the cameos. Um, <laughs> fucking cool as shit, to be completely honest. Absolutely cool as shit. Lo loved every second of it. Uh, again, this movie is not cameo focused. It, it that that it only play the cameos only play a role in the story. So this movie is not cameo focused, which I absolutely loved. It didn't use the cameos as a crutch, and which I loved. So I'm not gonna say anything more about the cameos or anything. I, I will be doing a spoiler review that I will be typing out and writing that will be posting on Instagram and uh, Letterboxd. But for right now, YouTube gets the spoiler review review. Uh, two more characters I want to talk about is, of course, uh, Wong and Christina pa and Christine Palmo. Uh, Rachel McAdams returning, returning was fantastic. I think she's a great actor. She did fantastic in this role again. And it's Benedict Wong. It's Wong, dude. It's Wong. It, it, there's nothing else uh, that can go wrong with uh, Wong. He was amazing. Every scene that he uh, he was in together with um, Steven uh, or Wanda or America, I absolutely loved. Uh, the, uh, the entire character dynamic in this movie was amazing. Uh, sorry if I feel like I'm going off the uh, rambling. I'm just trying to get all my spoiler-free thoughts out. Trying, uh, trying to construe the words so I don't say anything that's spoiler-ish. Um, or anything, so... That's all I'm going to say about the movie. The movie, uh, uh, well, one more thing, technically. Uh, at the end of the day, though, the movie is the movie is fantastic, to be completely honest. Uh, the more, I think it's a grower. I think the first, of course, when I left the theater, I went, and the, the credits played, I went, wow. I, I, I just went, I said, I, I posted on my story, if you follow me on Instagram, I said, wow. Because that's what this movie was, just 
wow. It blew away all my expectations that I had. And I was super hyped for this movie. And it exceeded those expectations. Obviously not... I, again, with the pacing, it did tamper them just a little bit. But at the end of the day, to be completely honest, the final score that I, I knew right after I left the theater, the final score for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is the solid 9 out of 10. Um, I thought, should I give it an 8 out of 10? I feel like that should be perfect. And then, and then I, again, as the credits rolled, I went, 9. 9 out of 10. And I was walking out of the theater thinking about it more, I was like, 9 out of 10. Um, just, just, wow. Uh, there's so much more I would love to say, and so much more spoiler stuff to get into, because there's so, so much good stuff. And the, again, just like the third act, there's more about the cameos and stuff, and fucking, um... Elizabeth Olsen, Wanda as the villain, and all oh, the emotional beats, like I said that twice, I think. It's just, oh god, it's so much shit, and it all worked so well. And I feel like, in, again, like I said, this movie is not for everybody. I've seen people give this movie a 2 out of 10. Okay, good for you. If, if you didn't like this movie, that is perfectly fine. I personally loved this movie, and I think it was exactly what, um... And it was exactly what I wanted it to be, and exactly what. It, 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 well, again, I can't talk. But yeah, it's exactly what I wanted it to be, and more. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, anyways, so that's the end of my spoiler review review. If you can, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, as always, I will see you guys in the next video. And also, please check out this movie. Just absolutely check it out. And I definitely missed a lot of stuff that I didn't bring up. But it's, it's going, this video is going on for 12 minutes now. But I'm going to head out. Thank you for watching this video. Peace out.